Hi, today we'll begin learning a great piece, Feste Lariane by Luigi Mozzani. This is a must for classical guitarists and it's a serenade. So, after you've learned it, you can dedicate it to your better half. I have divided the tutorial into three parts because the piece is actually divided into three parts. There is the main theme that we'll learn today and two variations. The left hand is basically the same in the three parts with just a few little differences. But what is very different is the right hand. In fact, in the second part, we'll add arpeggios to everything we play, and in the third part, we'll add the tremolo. Now, let's begin by listening to the first part. Ok, time to learn. The first chord is an E7. So let's prepare the middle on 2nd string 3rd fret and the ring on 3rd string 4th fret. We start by playing an octave interval E 6th open string and E 1st open string. Then we add the index on 1st string 2nd fret and we play the 1st 3 strings together. We add the pinky to the 1st string 4th fret and play again the 1st 3 strings together. So. The next chord is an A minor, so we prepare half a bar on the first three strings at the fifth fret and we play another octave, A open fifth and A on the first, followed by second and third strings played together. We add the pinky to the first string eighth fret and we play the first three strings together. The next chord is a D minor, so we move the pinky back to the seventh fret and we play this B together with the open fourth string and we add the rest of the chord, 2nd string 6th fret, 3rd string 7th fret. We play the first 3 strings together, we move the index back to the 4th fret and we play this D diminished chord. So. We get back to the A minor with our half a bar and we play open 5th and 1st string 5th fret, then 2nd and 3rd strings together, 1st 3 strings, and we go to the 1st position with a D minor 6 or B diminished slash D if you prefer. We play open 4th and 1st string 1st fret together, then we add 2nd string 3rd fret, 3rd string 4th fret, and we play twice the 1st 3 strings together. The next chord is an A minor slash E, so we prepare it and play open 6th and open 1st, 2nd and 3rd together, and the first 3 strings together, then open string and 2nd string 3rd fret. Now we play an E augmented, so we do a little bar with our index on the 1st fret of the 2nd and 3rd strings, like this, and we add the E on the 4th string 2nd fret. Then we play a regular E by lifting the index so the second string is open again. The final chord of this musical phrase is an A minor. We start with an octave, open fifth and third string second fret, then fourth string second fret, and C, fifth string third fret. The second phrase is very similar to the first six bars we just learned. We just have eight notes, so they last half the time, and we break chords a little. This means that we won't play the first three strings together as much as we did before. In fact, in bar 9, we play the first and then second and third strings together. In bar 10, we add an A on the second downbeat, so fourth string, seventh fret, and we play the first string, eighth fret alone. So bar 10 is like this. 
In bar 11 we play fourth and first strings together, second and third, first, second and third, first again, second and third. Bar 12 is like bar 10, but instead of a B on the first string 8th fret, we play an A at its 5th fret. In bar 13 we play open 4th string and the first string 1st fret, then 2nd and 3rd strings together, 1st, 2nd and 3rd, 1st, 2nd and 3rd. So bar 13 is like this. Finally, in bar 14, we have an A minor slash E. So we play 6th and 1st open strings together, 2nd and 3rd, 4th, 2nd and 3rd, 1st, 2nd and 3rd. So. Bar 15 is similar to bar 7, but we play 3rd and 4th strings together and after the 2nd alone. So it's. Finally, bar 16 is equal to bar 8. This concludes the second phrase. Now we move to a C chord and we play the third fret on both fifth and first strings, then twice the first three strings together, fourth and first, second and third, and the first three strings. So we have. Now we play D open 4th and F 1st string 1st fret. We put our pinky at the 5th fret of the 1st string and play the first 3 strings together. We slide back to the 3rd fret and play again the first 3 strings together. Then 5th string 3rd fret and 1st open string. Then open 3rd and 2nd string 1st fret. Then the first 3 strings together. And now there is what probably is the most difficult passage of the piece. We play an A minor, so 1st string 8th fret, 3rd string 5th fret, and 4th string 7th fret. We slide back to a G, so 1st string 7th fret, 3rd string 4th fret, 4th string 5th fret. Then back again to an F, 1st string 5th fret, 3rd string 2nd fret, 4th string 3rd fret, back to an E minor, 1st string 3rd fret, 3rd open string, 4th string 3rd fret. We slide to the 10th position to play a C, so 1st string 12th fret, open 3rd string, and 4th string 10th fret. Back to the same E minor, then open 4th and 1st string 1st fret, We slide to the 10th fret with the index, like this, and play the first four strings together. Then we slide back to the first fret with the index and play the same strings. If you find this passage difficult, practice it very slowly, and while you slide, try to first move the elbow and follow the movement with the hand, like this. Notice that I first move the elbow and then follow with the hand. Then let's prepare a C chord and play 5th string 3rd fret and 1st open string together, 2nd and 3rd strings, and 1st open. The next bars are equal to bars 9 to 16 we already learned. Bars 33 and 34 are equal to bars 5 and 6. Then we play an E major arpeggio with 16th notes. This should be pretty fast, two notes on the upbeat and two on the downbeat. But I prefer to slow it down until the end. This effect is called rallentando, but you can play it as you like. So open 6th and 1st strings together, 5th string 2nd fret, 4th string 2nd fret, 3rd string 1st fret, open 2nd, open 1st, 1st string 4th fret with the index, 7th fret with the pinky, we slide it to the 13th fret, and we wait a little, notice the fermata sign, and also notice that now we have 8 notes, then 1st string 12th fret, 2nd string 10th fret, 
Notice that here we have quarter notes and we end on an A minor at the fifth fret. Here we leverage the cage system and use the E shape. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If so, please subscribe to my channel and activate notifications. I will post more soon. And remember to practice every day. Ciao!